What's up YouTube, it's Robo13. Today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your 5.1 firmware on your iDevice. Uh, and just so you guys know, this is a tethered jailbreak, which means anytime you uh, reboot your device or it turns off or the battery dies, you're going to have to rerun Red Snow to get it to work again. Uh, this will work for the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, the iPod Touch 4th generation, and the iPad 1. This will not work for the iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S or the new iPad that will be coming out in March, uh, on March 16th, I think. So when you get that, it won't work for this yet. But this will work for all the other devices that I just said. Okay, and first things first, what you got to do is download the 5.1 firmware onto your device. Uh, Apple released it yesterday during their keynote. If you haven't already done that, uh, you can go into your settings and then go to software update. If you go into uh, general and then software update right there, it'll actually check to see if you're running 5.1. And if you aren't, it'll download it for you. So right now I'm running 5.1 because I downloaded it. Um, and then once you get everything installed and updated, you can also do it through iTunes if you wanted to, um, as long as you update to 10.6 for iTunes. Uh, that's the new update for iTunes, by the way. <clears throat> but after you update it, you want to come over here and download this program right here. It's called Red Snow, as you guys can see. So double click on that. And I'll have links in the description for you guys to download it. It's the 0.9.10 Beta 6 Red Snow, okay? Uh, once you plug in your device, it'll say right down here, like mine says iPhone 4 Verizon uh, 5.1. So after it says that, all you need to do is click jailbreak. And then once you click on that, you're going to turn your device off. So you're going to hold on the top button, slide to power off. <clears throat> and then once the little spinning wheel goes away, your device is completely off. And then when you hit the next button, you're going to put in you're going to put your device into what's called DFU mode. And what that is is when you uh, you hold in the top button and you hold in the power button, and then it, it tells you how to do it right here. And I'll show you guys. So you just hit next, and you're going to be holding in the top corner button for I think five seconds or three seconds. So you hit next, hold in the top power button for three seconds, then hold in the power button and the home button for ten seconds until you see the Apple logo disappear. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right, and then once that disappears, you let go of the corner button, but you keep holding the home button. All right, and if you mess this up, you can go back and uh, redo it. It's not a big deal. And then once you do that, it'll say on the screen, exploiting with Lime Rain, and it should go through the whole process. All right, it'll say waiting for reboot. And now it'll say processing kernel. And we'll go through the whole process of uh, jailbreaking your device. And remember, this is a tethered jailbreak, like I said before. Um, so once this is over, we're going to have to rerun Red Snow. So right down here, you can uh, enable multitasking gestures if you really wanted to, I guess, in your device. I'm just going to install Cydia. Then you hit Next. It'll then say Waiting for Reboot, Uploading RAM Disk. And then you'll see the little jailbreak symbol on your device. All right. And then just let it do its thing. Okay, and now it says uh, this is currently tethered. You have to redo it, blah, blah, blah. I'll show you guys what to do after that. Just hit OK. You'll see all this code being ran on your device. Just let it run through the whole thing, uh, and then it'll reboot, and I'll show you guys what to do after that. All right, and then as it's rebooting, you're going to see this little pineapple symbol. Just, you know, that's the basic thing. If you guys have ever jailbroken before, you guys have seen this before. Just let it do its thing, and I'll come back when this is fully uh, done. Okay, and one, once that is uh, fully rebooted, you just slide to unlock. And now if you go over, you'll notice that Cydia is a little white square. And if you try to click on it, it won't open up. So you'll just exit back to the home screen. Don't worry, that is supposed to happen because this is a tethered jailbreak. So once you get it back to the home screen, you have that white Cydia icon. Uh, you're going to go back into Red Snow, click on Extras, and now you're going to click on this Just Boot option right up here. See that? Just Boot. What you need to do, like anytime your device turns off, you will need to redo that. You'll need to go back in and hit extras and then just boot. All right, and all you have to do is turn your device back off. Slide the power off. Wait for the little spinning wheel to disappear. All right, that's fully off. Now you're going to put your device back in DFU mode, you know, holding the corner button and all that stuff again. So just follow the instructions on the screen. Hold the corner button for three seconds. Hold the corner button and the home button for 10 seconds. 
and then when the Apple logo disappears, you're going to let go of the corner button, but keep holding the home button until it reboots. And you guys should see it on your screen. See now it says exploiting with Lime Rain once again. This will just rerun the program really quick so that it can reboot your device and you'll be able to use Cydia. But remember, anytime you reboot your device or anytime the device, device turns off or anything like that, you will have to rerun Red Snow and go through that uh, extras and then just boot tethered option uh, every time to get it to work again. So if you guys uh, ever run into issues, try doing that first and then you guys can try sending me a, a message and I'll try to help you uh, with that. So once this is done, I will show you guys that Cydia is working on a 5.1 iPhone 4. Okay, and once it reboots, all you have to do is slide to unlock, go over to your Cydia page, I have it right there, and now Cydia is the actual Cydia icon that you all have seen before. Now click on that, it'll open up right away, and as long as you're connected with Wi-Fi or 3G uh, network, I'm gonna hit that, and then load it up. As you guys can see, Cydia is fully working, and I'll show you guys the bottom of Cydia really quick, cancel that. Scroll down. It says right down there. I don't know. I really hope you guys can read that. I really have. I really doubt it though. Uh, it says iPhone 4, iOS 5.1. I'll show you guys in the settings once again that I am running 5.1. General about. Scroll down right there. Okay. 5.1. Hopefully you guys can see that. Why would I lie? I'm trying to help you guys. All right. 5.1 firmware, iPhone 4, Cydia, uh, this is a tether jailbreak, remember that. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button down below, it helps me out a ton. Uh, remember to comment down below if you guys have any questions or any you know issues that you run into, just feel free to comment down below and I'll try to help you guys out. Uh, just remember to hit the subscribe button so that you guys can see all my new YouTube videos coming out. I'll have a ton coming out, especially with the new iPad coming out and the new uh, Apple TV. Uh, just remember to hit the like button again and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks guys.